Take three, hands-free recording for the safety of all, of course. Welcome to chapter three of the Tortoise Diaries. My name is Jared Neil McCurran, and this is day six of my liquid bone broth fast. If you're listening, God bless you. All right, so the purpose of this is to record my days so that I can reflect, remember, and improve upon my life. It is only by the watching of our actions and evaluating of them that we can know how well we did and how we can improve. So, I put my thoughts into recordings so that I can evaluate them properly. So that if I'm steering off course and screwing my life up, I can quickly fix it. Alright, so, my day. My day started yesterday. I was going to record last night. They got late. Didn't do it. Didn't do it because sleep's more important than this video series. So yesterday was a pretty daggum good day for me. I got the insulation under my roof installed. Hallelujah! It's been over a year. It's been over a year since I was supposed to get that done. Been meaning to get it done for a long time. I finally did it. I have a freaking herniated disc a month and a half ago, and I still managed to insulate my roof. I only, I only believe I was able to do it because of fasting. Now, I can't think of any other reason why. I mean, I've been doing a lot of other things besides fasting to bring my health levels up and to improve my life and stuff, but man, fasting has made the biggest difference. I'm not even doing a true fast. I'm just doing a liquid fast. I say liquid fast. Ooh, look at that phone slide. Not quite a hands-free drive. I say liquid fast because I'm also drinking some coffee in the morning. I'm drinking goat's milk, fresh goat's milk, which my wife milks, and the goats I take care of. Let's see if I can point this down a little bit. Woo, make it all fall around. All right, here we go. How about that? We'll see how that works. And uh, coconut cream, because holy mackerel, if you haven't tried coconut cream, it's delicious. And then of course the bone broth, which I made myself personally. You know, go me and stuff. Using, using bones from animals. So far, two turkeys, uh, one pork, or part of a pork, butt roast or something with one bone in it, uh, and some deer. Deer ribs and legs and some various pieces of awful or whatever you want to call it uh, that went into it. And then vegetables and all of them. The meat wasn't especially high quality, but it was most certainly good enough to get me uh, the materials I needed out of those animals to fix my own body. Because, well, I did some serious damage to it a month and a half ago and over the past year and a half. And, I mean, really, honestly, I worked physical labor, construction, Marine Corps, uh, driving, which is really just a damage because of sitting. Extended sitting is not very good for you if you didn't know it already. So I am, I am in the process of trying to repair my body. And the fastest way to repair your body is fasting. If you didn't know it, the first thing your body does when you start to fast after 36 hours, 36, pretty sure it's 36 hours, your body starts to heal your gut. Now that's pretty profound because your gut is where your immune system starts. That's pretty exciting because if you heal your gut, your immune system stronger, you're much less likely to get sick. How wonderful is that? What if you went an entire year without getting sick? What if you went 10 years without getting sick? It'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it'd almost feel like you were invincible if you never got sick. I mean, you could still get injured, but if you never got the flu, you never got a runny nose, you never got allergies, holy crap, that'd be life-changing for a lot of people. Fasting can help because it fixes your gut. When you fix your gut, your immune system is strong. All right, so after it fixes your gut, what does fasting do next? It's pretty exciting. It starts by working on the most damaged parts of your body and healing them. How? How 
that is it. You just heal, that is not eating. Heal your body. That sounds insane. I mean, a little bit. A little bit. If I don't eat for a while, uh, I'll start to heal my body. Yeah, you'll even regrow, not regrow organs, but make organs as if new. There we go. Going around a corner, slidey phone. Y'all can just listen for a minute and look at the daggum sky because it's not safe to pick that phone up right now. I'm going to go ahead and make this last turn. This is a pretty empty road. I live in the country and right now I'm commuting from Austin. I'm at the tail end of my drive. Didn't feel like doing this on the highway because I got a broken window and it's loud. It may be loud right now. I apologize. It is what it is. It'll get fixed. All right, so. Hmm. I'm currently not thoroughly educated because my, in my continuing education is lacking. So I'm missing a word that describes this action. But maybe it will, it will come to me as I talk about it. Anyways, your body goes in your body finds all the damaged cells that it can while you're in a fasted state and it uses those damaged cells for energy it breaks them down and uses them to sustain you so what does this do for you well it cleans up your body taking all the crap all the damage, all the issues, yes, even down to cancer. There, there are various institutions using fancer, uh, using fancy, holy mackerel, my apologies, I need to slow the hell down. There are various institutions throughout the world, and even starting in America on the west coast of California, they have one, it's not focusing on, on cancer though, but there are many institutions that, that use fasting, fa oh my goodness, I can't even say fasting. Yeah, this is gonna go on unedited, ridiculous. Calm down, son, jeez. That use fasting to, I don't wanna say cure, because it's not really cure. To help patients overcome their own malignant cells, how about that? So your body goes in and takes these malignant and damaged and broken cells and destroys them. Also, if you didn't know this, cancer cells, malignant cells, can't even survive in an environment without food coming into it. Mainly uh, sugary carbohydrate kind of stuff. That's what it survives on. It doesn't like fat. I don't understand why, but if all you eat is fat, like it's still going to die off either way. But fasting just makes it even faster. Uh, fasting also helps your body get rid of all that stuff easier because your body uses it uh, instead of trying to get it out of your system through your lymphatic system and, and various other pathways. Uh, it, just, it, just, it just burns it up and then it's gone. Now, the cool thing about this is like it'll go through your organs. How cool is that? Uh, and take all the damaged and broken tissues. All the cells that have issues. Mm, that rhymed a little bit. And then what it does, once you re- start the eating process now this is very important very important because when it re when you restart your eating process your body takes all those nice new uh atp energy and, and nutrients and minerals and all the things that you're digesting now again that your that your stomach can use even better because it's healed properly uh it uses those to regrow what was damaged and broken, replacing it with strong, healthy cells. Now your body is working at a much higher functional level. You might even say optimally, depending on how long you fasted. You may have to do multiple fasts depending on how much damage you have to your body. So it may not happen all in one blow. But over time, with fasting, you can make your body as if new again to a certain extent. I'm sure there are limitations, but if there are, I don't know what they are yet. Your body's very good at healing yourself if you give it the opportunity. Understand? All right. So why why is the reintegration into food the most important part? Because if you break your fast improperly, you're going to do nearly as much bad as you did good. If you, if you go on a donut tear, well, your body's going to think that carbs are the first thing it should turn to for
for energy. And dadgummit, you don't want that. Your body turns carbs into fat because it likes to use fat to burn for energy. It's the most efficient way to do it. So, it's much better to eat fats. Bone broths are a good way to start. They have some fat, but it's mostly just nice, strong proteins and, and well, just all the things your body needs to regrow. I, I can't get into details because, well, I haven't trained myself properly to under, understand this all well enough that I can talk through it easily without having something to guide me right now. But the tendons and ligaments and, and tissues and well, all the things that goes up to making a body, well, with the animal carcass, you want to throw all that in there. Like, you throw a whole chicken in there, you're going to get all the things that make your body grow well from that chicken. Well, that's pretty useful to you, right? Because then you drink that stuff, and your body uses all that stuff to replace all the things that you had problems with, that it, that it, that it broke down and took out. That goes everywhere from your joints to your daggum brain, all right? You want a good brain? You drink olive oil. It's nearly identical match fat for fat. Pretty daggum useful. Olive oil is stupid good for you. Off topic a little bit, but not really. It's nutrition's life. So the better your nutrition, the better the food you eat, the stronger you will be. That goes for you and the animals in your life. If you're feeding your dog or your cat shitty food, i.e. corn-based, grain-based, food. That's the same kind of food that's shitty for you. If you're eating cereals, you're actively killing yourself. Congratulations. Stop doing that, okay? And stop feeding it to your kids. Dad gum. You're killing them as well, making their life shorter with every bowl of sugary, sweet deliciousness that they eat. They lose a bit of their life. It's not good. All right, so the deeper your nutrition, the better you are the better your life will be, the stronger you will be. And, and I promise you, the happier you will be. You'll feel better. And will you feel better? It's much easier to put a smile on your face. It's pretty useful to smile. It makes you feel better. It makes everyone around you feel better. All right. I feel like I'm done. Yeah, I think I'm going to be done. I'm nearly home. I got like two minutes left in my drive. So, may God bless those who had the ears to hear. May God bless you. And may God bless the food that you eat that it may nourish your body. May God bless our homes that they continue to protect us. May God bless the countries we reside in. So that they may seek out the truth, the pure truth, not perceived truth. And may God bless the world, because we are in trying times. In Jesus' name, amen.